Hey everyone, uh, I'm just jumping in real quick here because I uh, wanted to film a slight disclaimer. The next beer that we're gonna talk about, I filmed that video a few weeks ago, but I really wanted it to be number 69 in the series. So you will see uh, a bunch of continuity errors, as in uh, I still have a bit of hair, I still have a very long beard and the decorum is still switched in that video. So, um, but you will see why I wanted this to be number 69 in honor of uh, average Rob and his brother. Anywho, enjoy that video and see you guys next time. Cheers. Hello everyone and welcome to the Belgian Beer Brothers channel. I'm Stedrick and we are gonna talk about another Belgian Pilsner beer today and this is actually the newest youngest Pilsner we have in our country. Some of you guys will notice my attire and there is no coincidence in that. Um, also this is episode 69 and that is a yeah I thought about that choice. Um, today we are going to talk about Tout Bien Pils uh, by brewery Martes, but they brew it for, as they do with many beers, they brew for other companies like Aldi, like Colrad, but they are brewing a 5.2 ABV Pilsner now for average Rob. And yeah, let's first talk about who average Rob is. Average Rob, um, for those who don't know the guy, uh, I think he has about 200k followers on YouTube. Um, Robert Van Impe and his brother Arno um, started making some funny movies when they were bored but they are both quite athletic guys uh, they're brothers and they do all kinds of things they make jokes they make funny videos they do challenges they might even break world records uh, Rob is also a DJ and the guys just have an aura uh, they have they are built for the internet and for entertainment um, and they're not dumb guys as many a Belgian does uh, Rob always dreamed of having his own beer and he's also yeah quite a good businessman uh, he knows lucrative opportunities when he sees some so he talked to some friends uh, namely tech entrepreneur uh, Gilles Matelin and marketeer Emile Huge and Emile and Gilles work together for Henchman IO which is uh, a word plugin or <laughs> I'm not gonna go into detail about that um, both quite successful guys and together like yeah an entrepreneur a marketeer and an all-round familiar face, an influencer, they got together and they commissioned a beer. Now, what kind of beer do you want? Most people want something special. A saison, a triple, uh, something to, yeah, to get noticed by. Not average Rob, because Rob is average. Uh, he wanted an average beer, an average Pilsner. They commissioned 25,000 cans and it sold out in a matter of hours. Um, I actually wasn't planning on ordering some, but even if I wanted to, I didn't have the chance because they were sold out already. Um, when they launched in April of this year, I can't remember the exact pricing, but I do know Somehow I calculated that it was more expensive than Duvel. Uh, Duvel is mainly my baseline most of the time because it's a strong blonde and it's not really expensive but not very cheap either. It's about Duvel is about four euros a liter, and I believe uh, Tout Bien was about five and a half six euros a liter back then. But that was a limited run. Now. Of course, selling out for a, quite the price in a matter of hours draws attention. 
And in this case, um, De Laze, the supermarkets here in Belgium, caught average rub in their eye. So they commissioned 500,000 cans extra. The price dropped because now it's a mass produced beer. And like I said, it's what Martens does. They make the Aldi brand, the Colorad brand, the Macro brand, the Carrefour brand, Cora brand. They, uh, I believe they bought the Hengelose Bierbrauerij in Holland uh, and there they do the same. So they are known for quality discount beers. Remember the Cara pills, also Martens. Um, Seeing as Average Rob and his friends wanted an average beer, case in point. Um, some self-proclaimed beer experts say that um, it's a big secret where this beer is brewed. Well, actually a few weeks ago, I'll link above here, Average Rob posted on his channel a video where he not only visits the brewery, but also shows the entire production process. Uh, so <laughs> not much of a secret there. <laughs> um, I think they want to keep the veil of mystery up or something. I have read in the newspaper that one of our Belgian beer experts, uh, which I do respect, um, said that she thought this was better than Stella, Artois and Jupiler, and that might very well be. I haven't tasted it yet, so I'll, <laughs> I'll discover it in a minute. But in the same article she said it's cheaper. And that is a load of bullcrap. Because I bought this can for 1 euro, that means 3 euro per liter. Um, it is only sold by Deleuze, so it's the same price everywhere. There are no discount stores, there are no uh, macros and huge uh, Walmarts or something that sell this. So it is three euros a liter everywhere. Stella Artois, Schupeler, uh, if you buy a crate, they sell for about two euro 30 a liter, uh, sometimes two euro 60 a liter. If you buy six packs, you'll go to two euro 70 per liter. Um, and even if you buy loose cans in the store, you'll probably buy, yeah, pay about 80, 90 cents for a beer. So unless you're going to the night shop, to be honest, is more expensive. Um, not by a lot, I have to admit that. It's uh, 5 dollars for a six pack, so it's very moderately priced. I do love their design. It's a friend of theirs that drew this. Um, yeah, I like plain and simple. I like white, I like the background with the T's and the B's in between the hearts. I like um, yeah, pretty much everything about it. It does say established in 2021, um, might be. I know that it was introduced in 2022, but they probably had the company in 2021. It is really average, as in uh, even the can says so, tout bien, average Belgian pills, nothing more, nothing less. Alcohol content 5.2%, uh, ABV of course. And uh, I didn't bother to write down the sales pitch because they put it on their can. And I actually like it. Now, bear in mind that uh, as most Belgians, including me, average Rob is known for poor English. <laughs> And they deliberately do so and write so as well. When did Pils brands become so boring? It's beer, God for them. The piss of angels. The golden liquid, the mother of all drinks. We are Belgians. We have a culture to be proud of. And that is why we started Tout Bien. A fresh pills for everyone who wants to have fun. Santé. And they're right, God for them. Okay. I actually really don't get where those guys got the idea that this is such a, a secret where it's brewed. It's 
there are some giveaways on the can. Let's see. Now, if you see a video by Average Rob, and mainly their Friday videos where they go, it's Friday, stop working, start drinking. Um, they have a certain way of drinking. I'm not gonna do that because I'm not in a field or in a meadow. I am <laughs> inside my studio <laughs> with some exp uh, expensive equipment. Uh, so I'm not gonna chug it from a meter above my head. Anywho, let's have a taste. I'm doing the same as with the Cara pills. Uh, why? Like I said, I love our good old fashioned Belgian pills glass. It would be a shame to put it in my tasting glasses. And yeah, actually I love drinking from the can as well, but then we can't see the color. First test. It actually does remind me of Stella Artois. Now, rem uh, yeah, mind you that everyone has a preference. And like I said earlier, every country has uh, mostly different Pilsners. Uh, most of the countries that produce a lot of beer have a rather bitter one and a rather uh, sweet one. Here in Belgium, Jubilet is the sweeter one. Stella Artois is the more bitter one. And we have a whole myriad of other uh, Pilsners in between and around that. I prefer the, the Stella Artois and this smells a bit like the Stella. Actually, if I smell this, I would say like Primus Hart. But of course, Pilsner are <laughs> mostly the same, so I would be very wrong at that as well. Pours quite nicely. Hmm. Okay. Again, a very, very pale beer. Very, very, very clear, as you'd expect from a Pilsner. Very, very tiny bubbles, very fine bubbles. Nice white foam. Very thin scent. Yeah, not much aroma left in there. Yeah, it is. Uh, actually, it tastes as it smells. It's slightly to the bitter side, but not very outspoken bitterness. It's not a taste bomb in any way. It's not too sweet. It's not very sweet at all, actually, which I very much appreciate in a Pilsner. Um, it is slightly bitter and dry. And at first glance, I do find this a, a very refreshing, tasteful, yeah, typical Pilsner. I'd even say slightly dry and floral. But when we get to the aftertaste, mm, yeah, when we get to the aftertaste, there's not that much left. It's very, it's rather watery. It's gone quite quickly. And there's actually not that much I can say about this. Um, I think overall, this is just a, a mission succeeded. It's a very average, even good Pilsner. And I do understand why, and I haven't named her yet, but it was uh, Sophie van Rafelgem. Uh, like I said, a well-renowned uh, 
female beer expert. Um, although I do find it a shame that uh, we always have to say she's a female beer expert because I really don't care what your gender is. Um, if you're an expert, you're an expert. If you love beer, you love beer. Anywho, what she said was um, she likes it more than Stella Artois and Jubilet and I think I even have to agree. Not, not necessarily that I like it more, but it does go right up there in that range of uh, typical average quality Belgian Pilsners. Uh, I have no remarks with this beer when it comes to quality or taste. It has a very enjoyable mouthfeel, the right amount of, of carbon dioxide. Now, of course, <laughs> bear in mind that uh, us Belgians are carbon dioxide junkies. Uh, and since the last year, CO2 prices have quadrupled. That's really, that doesn't go for us. But yeah, I would very much like to put this in a blind tasting with some friends and see how that goes. And I think I actually might even do that. Get some Toubien, some Bavik, some Saspils, Jupiler, Maas, Stella Artois, Heineken, maybe an Estrella Dam, and have them taste blind. Put scores down and see if they <laughs> if they know which one is which. Okay, this drinks away smoothly, uh, as you see, because we are not, yeah, merely 15 minutes into the video um, and it's already almost gone. So what can I say about this? This is maybe the bigger brother of the discount Pilsners, the, yeah, your average Pilsner, I think um, it was very ballsy to compete with the Belgian Pilsners and of course they had a name to come out with but they actually do it and for me this can be in the fridge next to all the other renowned Pilsners uh, as one of the smaller ones so cheers maybe one remark I'd like to see a price drop to two and a half euros a liter maybe so it is really average, <laughs> uh, but apart from that, yeah, great work. Thanks a lot, Rob. Uh, I will link to his channel and to the brewery maybe. Yeah. And I'd say subscribe to his channel as well. Um, I absolutely enjoy his videos uh, every time and they are of great quality as well. So cheers, you guys. Any remarks down below? Um, if you want to see more, subscribe, hit the bell icon, and I will see you guys again in episode 70 of the Brew Reviews. Uh, goodbye, cheers.